Okay, so let's begin. Um, hi, I'm Dominic Fleischmann, he's Harry Garcia, he's Dieter Squirk, and we're from Chronicle. And in this presentation, we're going to um, present the OSM Charmed Developer Stack. It's an easy way to, for all of you to get started to install OSM and to use it without any hard setup. So let's begin. So we have been in this hackfest and it's arriving at its end. And when we leave this place, we will, talk, we will also leave these nice VMs that everyone set up so that we could learn about OSM and try everything. So probably a lot of you will come home and try to install OSM or continue working with your installation that you already had. So the best way would be to have some kind of management for all this installation and to have some lifecycle management. Some kind of Kubernetes would be nice to deploy all the components, the Docker components, on, on top of Kubernetes cluster. Well, we can offer you that with um, Microcades and Charmed OSM. Microcades is a completely functional Kubernetes cluster that is installed with just one command. So it doesn't have to install Microcades. And with the help of Juju and Charmed OSM, you can deploy OSM on top of Microcades in the thing of 10 minutes. That sounds nice, but another really useful thing about this hackfest was having a bin so that you can actually use OSM because without any bin it's kind of hard. So you probably will have to find some way to have access to an open stack and we all know how complicated that can get. So there's also a solution for that. We have microstack, that's just one command, so just not install microstack and that way you have a fully functional microstack in a matter of also 10 minutes around and you have a complete stack with which you can start hacking on OSM and apply all that knowledge that you learned in this hackfest. You only need one machine for everything. You can install Kubernetes, OSM and OpenStack, everything on one machine. So a lot of people like yesterday <coughs> we talked about this to some of the attendees and they also said yeah I will believe it when I see it. This is a virtual machine that we have uh, already prepared with MicroStack installed and MicroCates installed too. Uh, if we do Juju status, we will see one error because there's no OSM model yet. So there's no OSM here. The two steps we need to uh, install OSM is to Juju add model OSM and you, you deploy OSM. Here we can see every component of OSM. It's a bit small, but uh, we can see Zookeeper, the UI, Aro, Prometheus, uh, every component that composes the, the whole OSM, it's, in a, it's deployed on top of MicroKids, that is the, the Kubernetes uh, cluster on, on this machine. We just have to wait like one, two minutes uh, to get all the setup up and running. Okay. There we can see uh, every component that is active, uh, every component has a, an IP. We can do Juju status and as in the in a normal in the standard installer we have to export the OSM host name to the IP of the NPI and now we can do OSM in list and execute commands and we have our, our open standing steps. Now uh, the following steps that are uh, needed are to add the micro stack that we have uh, as a bin, uh, as we would add it any other bin, with this command that is also uh, posted in, in the instructions and then we can uh, upload our packages and everything. So, uh, First of all, we are going to create 
the BIM. With MicroStack OpenStack, we have full access to the uh, OpenStack client that is installed here too. So we can do a MicroStack OpenStack server list. And we will get an empty result here because there's no machine. But uh, later we will see when we deploy our first network service how the machines are created here in the MicroStack. We will upload the OSM access basic DNF just as an example, and the network service too. We can do OSM DIN list, OSM NSD list, same DNF D list, and everything is uploaded to the to our OSM that runs on top of Kubernetes. So now with this command, we are going to deploy our first uh, network service on top of uh, MicroStack. So we just execute that and we are going to watch the process of how uh, OSN is deploying this. Okay, so now the network service is uh, configured correctly, so we should be able to do MicroStack OpenStack server list and see that the DNF is, is already there. So with, with this that we have seen right now, uh, we can do uh, at home, at your uh, school or college or uh, work, any, anything that you have already done here in the, in the Hackfest, you can do it at home with your laptop using a small server. You don't need, you don't need a, a very a big infrastructure to get started with us. Thank you. Thank you very much.